Okay, in this video we're going to have, take a look at how we filter the data grid view. So first of all I'm going to drop a combo box uh, onto my form and the combo box is going to show me the uh, product category and then the list is going to change uh, as the combo box items change. So to do that what we'll need to do first of all is just go into properties and give the combo box a name. So I'm just going to call mine CBO filter combo box filter and what we're going to do then is we're going to go into the code behind so F7 or right click and view code and then we're going to populate that combo box with some data so first thing we do is we reference it so you can see there it is CBO filter dot and we want to get the data source of that and we want to make that equal to our CSE which is our coffee shop entity dot and we're going to make that equal to the product types. We've done that in a similar way in a previous video. Uh, again, we're just going to then set the um, we're going to set the display member of that, oops, so that we can choose what item we want to display in there. So I'm going to display the description in there. So if I put description at the top, and again, if you've forgotten where that's come from. Uh, because we're in product types, if I go across to Server Explorer and look at product type, there you can see I've got description there, so that's what I want to be displayed. And finally, I want to display the value member. And value member is what key we're going to use in this, so I want that to be equal to the key field of the table, which is going to be product type. So that gives us our combo box, hopefully, uh, nicely linked in. So the best thing to do at this point is just give that a test check for any bugs. I'm just going to go to a uh, few products there. Okay, so looking good and at the combo box, there we go, we can see it's connected nicely there. So, next job, let's close that back down. Happy that that now works. Uh, we need to think of a way of actually getting the combo box to generate an event and when that event is generated uh, for the filter to occur. So let's go back into design view. Let's take the list just at the bottom here and let's go into the properties again. We'll go and find event and if we scroll down, lots of different events, but what we're looking for here is the selected uh, or the selection that's changed and it's been committed. So we want to make sure that they've actually chosen an item and that that's been selected. So we're going to put our event into there and we're just going to call it filter list. So give it a meaningful name and just press enter or return and that will generate the event for us. So into this what we're going to do is we're going to look at something called an object query and hopefully um, show you how an object query can be used to filter um, your coffee shop database entity. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to bring in a bit of code that I've done previously. I'm just going to drop that down there uh, and I'm just going to talk you through it. And again at this stage um, if I just talk you through how it works, uh, you can just use this within your code really. I've got this class called Object Query. You might have to resolve that if it uh, hasn't got uh, the correct using at the type. But you can see I've got using system.data.object, so that there turns blue. We then say what type of object we're looking at. So we're looking at products, and that's the thing that we're displaying in the list box. So we put the, the class products here and I've given it an instance name filtered products and I've said equals new object query again put my table products and then what I've done here is I've put this query and the query is a bit like a SQL query where I've said select value C now C can be anything from table products as C where C dot product type equals and then I've appended on the combo box now I've got the wrong combo box there so let's just change that so that should be combo box filter dot selected value and I've passed in my coffee shop entity so you can see what this is going to do it's going to filter hopefully and produce me a list of products now a couple of people asked what this C means the C really doesn't mean anything it's just the type or giving everything a name so I could change that for example to something like product if that was easier to understand so let's put all those as product here so now you can see I'm saying select a product from the table product table as a product where the product that I found product type equals and equals the selected value from the combo box. So once that's done the only thing left to do is to actually bind that to our data grid view. So 
I'm just going to say data source equals and I'm going to set that equal to the filtered product list. If I save that, this is where it can go wrong and we run that through. Let's have a look and see what we've got. So if we go to view products, there's our list. If I select an object down here, you can see that it filters that list accordingly. So a really, really simple way of adding a filter to a list. As I say, object query, if you uh, need to use that bit of code, just copy and paste and just change the, the types to match the types that you've used in your entity model.